perfect timing the ice cream truck is about to pass. In the meantime, I got a haircut. Comment down below, rip hair. We do miss the hair a lot. Welcome back to the channel guys. We just hit 12.5k, which is insane. Thank you for that. And not only that, you guys keep commenting and liking the videos. I try to respond to all of you guys. So comment down below anything you'd like. I'll try to respond. All right. Anyway, this is the Red Dragon M612. And right off the bat, I'm already going to say it. this is probably one of the best mice I've used that's under $20. I've used mice that are over 30 that just don't feel as good as this one. The M612 sells for $17.99, but if you use code NERDISH, you'll get 10% off. Might as well use the code. Let's start off with the build quality. Because of the price, you can't expect super high-end build material. With that said, it's solid. It feels premium. The build is seriously good for the price. I've squeezed it just to see if I feel like I'll break it, and it holds up well. There's actually very minimal crackling as well. Just doesn't feel cheap. Simple as that. It also has a good weight to it at 0.135 kg or 0.3 pounds. Comfort and movement will definitely be good. The grips add to that comfort with their diagonal line pattern. These are rubber grips by the way. I've seen mice once again that are $20 or more that don't even have rubber on them. They just have like some texture on the plastic on the side. This one has rubber. Granted it's only on the side where your thumb sits, but nonetheless you still get rubber, better grip, and it's actually quite nice. We'll have to see how it holds up over time, but so far so good. Now, the Red Dragon shop says it has 11 buttons, however, counting all of them, I counted just 10. Which, don't get me wrong, it's still a good number, but I don't know where they got the 11th button from. Regardless of that, the click the buttons make is super satisfying. It's clicky. Here's a sound test. Every time you press the button, you get one solid click. Other mice around this price point don't sound as crisp and satisfying. The button on the top left of the mouse is a rapid fire button, which can be helpful in fast paced games. If you're just using it in your file explorer, Google Chrome, anything, this button will serve as a double click. So maybe that's where they got the 11th button from. As you can see, you just press it once and it acts like a double click. The three buttons on top of the mouse are for DPI up, DPI down, and to change the color of the lighting. These eight buttons can be remapped inside your game settings. Hold up a second, did you guys know that Red Dragon makes speakers as well? And that they light up? I was super surprised because, you know, I think of them as a keyboard, mouse, headset company. But they make speakers too? And coasters? And little keychains? This thing's actually really cool. It's a keychain, but it's like a, a key tester. Look, it has its own switch. I don't know, that's super cool. And they sound pretty good too. And the lighting just looks gorgeous as well. They fit in nicely because they have lights and my desk is crazy with lights. Speaking of games, the most expensive mouse I've used is probably around $80. I believe it was the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition a few years ago. And I've used a bunch that were around the $50 price point. Stuff like the Corsair M65, the Razer Death Adder Elite, the current Razer Mamba wireless that I have, and mice like the G502 Hero from Logitech. However, at $17, especially if you're a casual gamer, there's no real noticeable difference in casual games. I'm talking about GTA, Far Cry, Fortnite, Call of Duty, you know, games like that. If you're playing some super fast competitive games and there's money on the line, status, professionalism, you know, that sort of thing, esports, then you may want to go with a more expensive mouse. But once again, if you're just a casual gamer like me, this will be perfectly fine. It has an optical sensor that has modes for 500, 1000, 2000, 3000, and 4000 DPI levels. You could cycle through them with the DPI buttons up top. I used to be hesitant when looking at mice under $20. I always assumed they would just be no good for games. That's just wrong. This mouse can play games and it can play them well. On top of that, it does it while looking sleek and bright. That's right, a $17 mouse comes equipped with lighting, and it's not cheap lighting either, it looks quite good. I would compare this lighting to that of the Razer Mamba, obviously because of the light strips on the side. They look phenomenal. And it's smooth too, you can't see any LEDs or dark spots. The entire strip is solid and bright. It only has 5 lighting modes, but for a mouse at this price, that's more than what you can ask for. You could change the lighting modes with the third button on the top. Just check out the lights, it's crazy that this mouse is under $20. This camera for some reason struggles to pick up the lighting on the mouse, it flickers a lot on camera, but in person it doesn't, I promise. You'd see it right now, it's over there. 
I don't think it's flickering on camera, but yeah, it's not flickering in person. Now this is the mouse you want to look at if you have a budget gaming PC, a budget setup. I mean, $17. Now some people just calculate how much their computer would cost with all the components, the build and everything, but they forget about the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, which is as important as the computer itself. You can't use it without those things. And typically, and I've done this in the past as well, you look at mice that are starting at $40, $40, $50, $50, and you consider that to be on the budget side because mice are expensive. Well, skip that, and even if it's just as a starter, go ahead and get this mouse. Or at least take a look at it. $17? I guarantee you that if you use it, you're gonna keep using it because you're saving money. You don't have to upgrade because it does everything that a more expensive mouse could do. And unless you're playing competitively or professionally, this is all you need. I approve. And that's gonna conclude this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like, comment down below. Once again, thanks for 12.5k. Let's go for the 13 now. I'm sure we'll get there pretty soon. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.